So I just trudged across a swamp. I had no idea it would be that wet. Um, I'm attempting to sneak up on some waterfowl in this lake. Um, I've shot these ducks before, and I'm just going to be honest, I don't remember what kind they are, but they are really pretty. And uh, I'm going to try to sneak down there to the water's edge. Unfortunately, there's a fisherman across the lake, and uh, if I get up in my ghillie suit, he's going to think I'm some kind of sniper or CIA agent or something. So I'm a little hesitant to put the ghillie on, but uh, what the heck, let's have fun. glasses are going to be a dead giveaway, but maybe they won't see the reflection. I can't see without them. So I've kind of settled in, and uh, the ducks right now are probably a good hundred yards away so obviously they're not within shooting distance but I'm kind of hoping uh, they come back this way the lights in my favor um, the lights to my back and uh, if they get over here I might be able to get a halfway decent shot I'd really like to crawl closer to the edge and get really really low um, the terrain's really kind of rough and you can't really see what you're going to run into but I think I'm going to try it. out of the lake but uh, quite a few hours of daylight left I'd like to get closer but I'm just going to go straight into the water so I'm still not going to be able to get as low as I'd like to get back out here at this lake and uh, I'm on the opposite side from where I was yesterday um, so the light will be at my back unfortunately it looks really cloudy but I think I have a better chance over here to get down really low to the water so I'm just gonna lay here once I get set up and hopefully some ducks will come close enough to get a shot. I apologize in advance for my audio. Um, I've got quite a few layers on. I'm crawling around on my belly, so you might hear some extracurricular noises. But I'm right here along the edge of the water, and I'm just going to lay still and uh, 
hopefully Mr. and Mrs. Duck will pay me a visit. As you can tell, it's really windy and the ducks are across the pond and where they're located, it's kind of blocking the wind. So I'm wondering if that's why they're staying uh, over there just to, to keep out of the strong wind. Not a very uh, pleasant day as far as weather, but it's fun to be out here. I just hope the ducks cooperate. So I had two Canada geese, gooses, geese, yeah, whatever. The light is still really low, but uh, at least it was a little bit of action. up here um, I can see the other ducks uh, the ringneck ducks they're across the pond I had two come within a hundred yards unfortunately they turned around and went back so looks like the lights getting a little better though so maybe um, the ducks will show up when the lights really good and it'll work out So three days in a row out here at this pond, absolutely no duck pitchers. They decided to stay at the other end of the pond. There was no way for me to get there without completely spooking them. So my strategy was to lay on this side of the pond and they usually come over um, for some reason. Um, the last two days they did not. The first day I was here was in the afternoon. They did come over this way. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't get in the position without spooking them. So, am I disappointed? Yes. Am I discouraged? No, because you, know, you learn each time you go out, uh, you learn new things. You're not going to get a shot if you're not out there. So, I could have stayed home in the warm house. You know, the purpose of me saying this is I'm encouraging you never to give up. Go out and pursue your passion. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be cold. But just go out and try. And uh, if you're out there, it means you always have a chance to get that shot. So, well, I'm kind of rambling on here. 
but I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, take care.